in our ongoing series of YouTube videos. Our ever-expanding library of YouTube videos. We created nine modules uh, for starting a new small business. The modules um, are analogous to episodes on a television show, nine different ones, or chapters in a book. We created nine of them. Uh, so far, we have covered our first module was uh, to do or not to do should you start a business. We examine the characteristics of an entrepreneur, seeing how you measure up uh, to entrepreneurship and an entrepreneur who uh, goes beyond the idea stage and actually starts a business to realize whatever dream of entrepreneurship uh, they have created for themselves. And we had about uh, 45 different characteristics uh, that we have studied along the way. Keywords, I call them keywords. Uh, go back to our, uh, either look at, at YouTube or come into the community better, come into the community, start with number one, and each video that we create has small business keywords. Our second module was your business idea. What about 25 small business keywords? Is it a product? Is it a service? What about pricing? What about competition? Uh, go and, 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 and really uh, study what it is that uh, I have to say about competition because I, I look at competition uh, differently than most people do. When somebody asks me who my competition is, and uh, we're going to share with you a, 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 a website, a small, smallbusinessadministration.gov. I talked about it earlier this week. I've created a great tool. Go to sba.gov. And it's called a size up widget. Uh, they are working with a company called uh, GIS, I think is the name of the company. And um, GIS created this widget, size up. So if you go to sba.gov forward slash size up, all one word, S I C E U P. It's a great tool, and I, I, I highly recommend you go and, and use that tool. Uh, I found it very difficult for me personally, and I started to use it, and I was going to share my experiences with you because my answers to the questions that were being asked um, they're, 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 they're dramatically different than answers that you might give because you are just starting a business. My answers are, are, are based upon over 40 years of experiences, so they're, they're, they're different. So the revenue figure that I put in uh, didn't work out. Well, once you, once you enter your revenue figure, then you, it says please enter, you get that, and, that, and then it will give you the opportunity uh, to see how that revenue figure stacks up with other folks in your industry, in your community. So it's important that you create an industry label for yourself. And, and, and the tool helps you do that. You, you, you start to type some words, then it will, in the drop-down menu, it will give you suggestions. And you look in that menu to see what is appropriate for you click on that and enter it, then you enter your market. Now, the reason I'm, I'm, I'm sharing, well, the tool is very, very important. And please go and use the tool, particularly if you are in the beginning stages 
of your idea or you're actually starting. Uh, it gives you good things to think about. One of the major concerns is competition. And, and that's how we got on to this. Uh, I, I don't give very good answers uh, for competition. Personally, this is me, not necessarily you, because I feel that the only competition that I have is myself. I am my biggest competitor. I don't want to take the time, to be honest, uh, to find the people who are doing what I'm trying. First of all, find the people who are trying to do it, then to study their businesses and understand what they are doing. It doesn't matter to me. To me, it doesn't matter to me because I can't control what they do. So why should I think and spend time and energy uh, trying to figure out what it is that they do? Why are they doing it? How are they doing it? Uh, I've been doing it long enough that I just do it. That is, that is how I measure things. And, and so my answers for competition uh, are not very good ones. Now, when you go and ask somebody for money to invest in your business, they absolutely want a good answer uh, for your, who your competition is. They want to know that if you are making, uh, if they are making an investment in your business, that uh, you are going to do it better than your competitors. Because if you can't do it better than your competitors, they, they might not lend you the money. It's that simple. Uh, so if somebody, if I if I go to somebody, ask for them to invest in my business, they don't like my answer about competitors. So be it. Uh, but I know that they're going to ask it. Don't spend too much time on trying to figure out who your competitors are. Uh, spend more time on what it is that you're going to do and what value you're going to bring. That's, that's a, a better use of your resources, your time, your energy to get the job done. You can get lost in the mire of who your competitors are and what they are doing. Don't waste too much time doing that. Just figure out what it is you want to do and focus on that and how can you take what you want to do from an idea to the stage of here's, here's what it is uh, and, and uh, just, just do it. Don't worry about the competition. Uh, module number three was finding your team of me mentors of entrepreneurship. A mentor in entrepreneurship uh, to me means somebody uh, who has expertise in a certain area that you don't necessarily have that expertise yourself. Uh, I shared with you um, uh, earlier this week, and you can go look at look at it. Uh, I don't remember what video number it was. It was what it was in that just this week, so maybe 54, 55. I shared with you uh, a, a DVD from a television show that I actually produced. Uh, in 2006, and it was a show uh, that I uh, I asked a friend of mine, Peggy Stuckey, if she would share her business plan with a team of mentors of entrepreneurship that I created. I created this panel. There was a small business attorney, uh, a small business uh, certified public accountant in this case, uh, could have been a public accountant, might have been a bookkeeper, but I wanted a certified public accountant. Uh, it was a business strategist. Uh, actually, the business strategist was pretty much myself. Uh, it was a, a, a marketing person, uh, whereas I am certainly uh, a, a marketing expert. Uh, I asked a, uh, a friend of mine uh, to fill that spot on the panel, uh, and I had a uh, I had a banker. A banker friend of mine. Always good to have a banker as a mentor because it, it's very possible that that mentor they say, "Jesus, a great business idea," and I'm going to tell my bank I ought to invest 
in this business idea. So always good to have a banker, mentor, friend uh, on your team. So the, 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 these mentors of entrepreneurship, it's a team who will help you uh, achieve your goals and objectives uh, because they like you, uh, because they want to help you succeed. That's what, how they feel about something. They might charge you for their services. Uh, if you want to pay the price, go ahead and do it. If you don't want to and they won't do it any other way, then find them. A, a true mentor of entrepreneurship will want to do it because they want to help you, not how much money they will make on, on helping you. They do it because they want to. So a major objective in our community is to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put together 10,000 mentors of entrepreneurship. So if you know anybody who wants to who, who wants to become a mentor of entrepreneurship, what the, what they will do is they will learn the ways of the community. Uh, I will actually uh, give them a complimentary uh, landing page for 99 days, so they can learn the ways of the community. Then what that's going to do is a it's going to help them personally. Uh, because it's going to create a, a cash flow revenue stream for them. But equally important as, as in that is them mentoring somebody else, somebody like yourself, in what has worked in the community and because of their experiences uh, as an entrepreneur doing what they do, they will help you grow your business start your business from, from that aspect. So if you know a good candidate for mentor uh, of entrepreneurship in David Sparter community, please uh, send them to our community and tell them to get their way to either send me a message uh, and I will respond to that uh, or go to davidsbarter.com slash smallbizdavid and it will give them the information about being a mentor and how to become a mentor of entrepreneurship. Very, very important for you to find us. So we'll have these mentors of entrepreneurship in our community to help you start and grow your business. Uh, module number four was development of your business strategy. It's the plan, small business collaboration, are you business to business or are you business to consumer? Uh, we explain those. Uh, we talk about right timing, right marketplace, right business strategy, right merchandising and pricing. You have to have those four rights. And I did a, uh, a YouTube this week uh, on the four rights. You have to have all of those if you're going to be successful. That comes into the module of development of your business strategy. Module number five development of your social marketing, social network technology. We show you the things that have worked for us so that we can achieve our goals and objectives. And by just taking what, it, what your business idea is, if it's right, if it's the right idea, and you're targeting folks, the right folks with it, uh, there's no reason why you just can't copy uh, what I have done with your branding, with your product and your service. Just copy what I've done uh, and it, it can be as successful for you. It show you how to use uh, the different social marketing, social network technology tools. There's about uh, 40, 45 small business keywords there. Module number six your small business money matters. What are the money matters that you need to be concerned with with your business? Uh, we have about 25 of those. Uh, that's module number six. Module number seven, small business law, small business accounting. We, we group those things together, law and accounting together as you're starting a business because when you're starting a business, they absolutely work together and, and certain 
<clears throat> legal decisions have to be made which have a direct impact of, of the accounting that you do. But you can't make those decisions until you make some accounting decisions that have to have uh, a legal that have a legal ramification. So we com have combined those two in module number seven. Module number eight: finding resources for your small business. One of the consistent shortcomings that I have found in the thousands of small businesses that I've communicated with over the years is that they don't take the time to find resources that will help their startup, that will help their business uh, become more efficient, more effective. They just, they're, they're too busy doing, not spending enough time on figuring out and exploring how to do it better. That's what finding resources are. Uh, and in the community, uh, we will show you thousands of resources. Well, there's some very, very basic ones that we talk about on a daily basis or several times a week. Uh, for instance, the SBA, smallbusinessadministration.gov. Small Business Administration has over 4,000 pages in their, in their website. We know how to get to those pages. We know the information on those pages, so we try to make it easy for you by finding the best of the best, if you will, and presenting them to you. SBA.gov, uh, this, this, uh, I talked about it earlier, uh, this uh, Size Up widget, uh, that's a brand new page uh, in at the SBA, which you probably never would have known about because we get some special mailings from the SBA because of our interest, uh, we found it and, and shared it with you. That's about finding resources for your small business. And finally, uh, module number nine, start developing your customer touch points. As a business venture, the most important aspects are your customer touch points. How many times can you touch a potential prospect who becomes a customer? How many times can you touch a customer? And each time that you do, how effective is that touch point? It could be as simple as when you send a bill, an invoice, to that customer. There are strategies that we will share with you how important that invoice is and the things that you say about uh, the things that you say on that invoice and how you say them. It's not just about sending an invoice that says you owe me $100. How do you tell somebody that they owe you $100 so they will pay you the $100 that you owe them? Uh, there's, there's, there's some important strategies that we have been able to put in place over the years uh, and we will share those with you in module number nine. And, and in fact, um, I did something uh, revolutionary in the, uh, it was probably around 1995, 1996 when I did it, uh, probably 1995. I, from 1994 until 1999, virtually all of my, all of my customers uh, were insurance companies. Uh, that's the industry that I was focusing on in those years, specifically with direct marketing strategies and customer service. So that's how I was uh, addressing them. And I addressed 19, uh, I had 19 of the 54 largest insurance companies were clients of mine back in those years. What I did early on, and this is really in the early days of the internet, uh, and certainly um, one of the very first industries to really embrace the internet as an industry were insurance companies. However, however, they were embracing the internet with very old thinking. So they were taking a new technology with old thinking, and 
those are the kinds of things that we we, we focused on uh, in those years. But I created a graph, a, a, an infographic, before infographics were fashionable. Uh, it was on customer touch points in the insurance industry, and I identified maybe 21 or 25 different touch points, and I put them on an on a, on a pictorial to show how they work and how they could become more effective. And I'll share that with you in module number nine, start developing your customer touch points. Those are our nine modules. We have information and videos and uh, whatever. That's what, that's what we're going to be doing for uh, certainly uh, the rest of uh, September. And I'm sure it will go into October and maybe never stop. <laughs> Who knows? So go become a registered member of our community and start to explore those modules as we have, uh, we have created them. Uh, there's almost 60, uh, after today, I will have 60 videos. Uh, each one of those relating to one of the modules uh, and some specific keywords within that. Thank you for your time today. Uh, you had you you had a uh, an option to spend your time in a million different places, and I want to thank you for uh, spending time today in David's Barter community. And I hope that I have been able to bring uh, at least one good idea to you, at least one, that brings some type of value to your personal life, some type of value to your business, some type of value to the business that you want to start. Uh, and if I did, come back tomorrow for some more. And also, please, uh, tell other folks uh, that you know a, they are they could become mentors of entrepreneurship because they are in business. Uh, they will learn the ways of our community, and they can help you as you're starting your business or people who want to start a business. Uh, we need more new businesses started in this country right now than any other time I have seen uh, in, in my experiences as a small business owner. There are not enough new jobs being created uh, on a monthly basis. As a matter of fact, uh, it's not even half as many new jobs uh, are being created that need to be created. And guess what? Guess what? The most important source of creating new jobs has always been and will continue to be and is not, has never been more important than it is right now. New businesses getting started. Create job number one, and that's job for you, the entrepreneur who starts that business. And as that business grows, you may need to create other new jobs for other folks to help you uh, achieve the goals and objectives of your business because you can't do it alone. Uh, this is Small Biz David. Uh, come back tomorrow. Come back. Uh, go to the David's Barter Community 24 by 7. We'll be back uh, at Stickham uh, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you.